So we're here at uh, Supercomputing here in Denver, and who are you? Colin McMurtry, Associate Director at CSCS. And uh, CSCS is right here, it's his uh, Center for uh, Supercomputing in Switzerland, right? Yep. So you have a bunch of craze right now, and uh, it's pretty fast, what you have got going yes. on? Yeah, so we're number three in the world. And we're one of the most energy efficient uh, HPC systems at scale. So, uh, because I, I saw the top list and uh, there's a couple of Chinese in front of you, right? Yeah. But yeah. They, they seem to have so many more cores than you. Yeah. You have so many fewer, but you have a high performance. Yeah, that's right. It, that's to do with the, um, the chip that they use in the Chinese system. I think it has over 250 cores. Um, the it's a main lot of small cores, maybe, right? Yeah. The main processing elements in our system are the NVIDIA P100 GPUs. So that is that the, the latest uh, kind of like uh, uh, GPU for supercomputing that it has, NVIDIA? Oh, well, there's the Volta as well. I think you can start to get Volta now as well. And uh, so, what's the consideration? How do you build this, and how big is it? how many? How, how big is this is this hall with all these computers? Uh, Two thousand square meters. So that's about. Um, 18,000 square feet. Is that bigger than a soccer field? I don't know, I don't play soccer. <laughs> football, <laughs> it's called football, right? Uh, yeah, here but they call it something else. They call it soccer yeah. here, but yeah. I don't know, it's not that big, I don't think. And uh, uh, so, so what is it being used for? Uh, public good science, so it's uh, Swiss academics uh, and uh, European academics. We're a tier zero site for price. So we offer resources, um, peer-reviewed re resources to Price and to the Swiss academic community. Um, so uh, do you, are you a big team building this, uh, working on this? So there's 90 uh, or 91 people in total that work at CSCS. And uh, uh, so you, you do design from a consideration of the software, the hardware, what do you, what do you work on? Uh, so we're, we're primarily a service delivery organization. So we work on um, integration of hardware into, into the systems with, with our vendor partners like NVIDIA and Cray. Uh, and we work on middleware libraries and middleware software environments and um, infrastructure services, uh, APIs and so forth. So REST APIs for domain specific platforms. So since when are you on this list, the top 500? Uh, so the system's been number one in Europe for, I think, some number of years now, since maybe 2014 or something. Could be five or six years. So or five or six lists at least, I can't remember. But quite a, quite a while, and we've been number three for a year now. And uh, uh, right here it says, uh, it's part of the ETH Zurich. Yeah. Is, that, uh, is that the best university in the world, or what, what do you think? Um, so ETH Zurich is a, a technical university in Zurich. Um, it has a number of famous Nobel laureates. Um, and it's one of the best universities in, in continental Europe. And so that means uh, all the students that are working on supercomputing can be part of this and, uh, and work towards... Uh, optimizing stuff on this, doing the research with this? Yeah, so we have close collaboration with computer science department at ETH Zurich and uh, other departments like the physics department, earth sciences, those so sorts of things. Is it possible that uh, it can be considered a success, the supercomputer, right? And uh, is it possible that that could maybe uh, be a good argument to build a new, bigger one? Or is there anything announced? So CSCS has a, a mandate from the, from the Swiss Parliament to, to offer HPC services uh, to academia to um, enable excellence in science. And so from that respect, the system is a success and we have a, um, a guaranteed funding um, stream and so uh, if I think what you're implying is with your question is will will we continue to, to develop supercomputing resources at CSCS? The answer is yes. So, uh, for example, my website is called ARM Devices, and now Cray has announced that they're doing an ARM supercomputer. 
that might be a interesting option perhaps right so we're considering all options for the successor of Pittstein we're already starting to plan for that system but the um, the hardware landscape and and the time frame of uh, when we want to put the machine in is, is a little bit unknown at the moment. But there are many really rather interesting hardware processing elements available in that time frame. Is there any chance that Switzerland is going to be the first one to reach exascale? I don't know. Maybe, uh, do you I want doubt to, it. Is there any chance that you will beat the Chinese? Switzerland could do that? If they really wanted, they could, they could just build something bigger? Well, yeah, but you should be careful about that because we, we have a specific mission. Our mission is not to get to the top of the top 500 list. Our, our mission is to provide, current, currently we're providing petascale compute resources for academia. And we, we know what we want to do on the path to exascale, but exascale doesn't mean exaflop. So we have some concrete use cases that we're trying to enable with um, with an with an exascale style system, but uh, it's not about getting there first or whatever. It's about the science. And it's very important to be energy efficient, which is you are are you at the top, uh, one of the top, right? Yes. And yeah. That's so the it most is. important because you don't want to use too much power. Yes. And then it doesn't yep. use too much money, right? Yeah. So the, the, these large systems now are using, you know, in the megawatt range, and that that's a lot of uh, expenditure annually. So part of our mission is is to uh, produce energy efficient HPC systems as well. So, and we are, I think, the third most powerful HPC system at scale. I think we're number ten on the Green 500 list, but. Most of the systems in that list are a very small fraction of our total um, compute capacity. So they're, they're basically small systems that have been like research systems. So you are a big serious one that's very green. Yes. Which is the most important. You well, want to have from a our, computer. From, our, from our point of view, yeah. I mean, others may have differing opinions, but from our perspective, that's extremely important.